Hi, in this video, we are actually doing the second part of De Morgan's Law. So that means we are going to discuss about the third and the fourth De Morgan's Law. As you can see, I have already noted down the third and the fourth De Morgan's Law. The third one says A minus B union C is equal to A minus B intersection A minus C. This time again, we are going to prove these laws using Venn diagrams and in the next video I am planning to prove using the written method. So let me draw one diagram. So this is one of the Venn diagrams where this rectangle represents the universal set. The circle in green or the ellipse in green represents set A, ellipse in orange represents set B and ellipse in blue represents set C. So if we see the first part of this law it says A minus B union C. So what is B union C? B union C is actually this area. The area which represents the set B and the area which represents set C. So this is B union C. And what is A minus B union C? A minus B union C will be all the elements of set A which are not there in B union C. That means this portion actually represents A minus B union C. This is the area which I have shaded in light green actually represents the left hand side of this law, right? And now let's discuss about the right hand side of the law. To understand it better, I am going to draw two more Venn diagrams. So these are the two Venn diagrams which I have drawn. In first drawing we have set A and set B and in the second Venn diagram we have set A and set C. So if you see the first part of this properly, the first part says A minus B and the second part is A minus C and then we have to do intersection of both. So let's see what is represented by A minus B. The portion which is represented by A minus B is actually the elements of set A which are not there in set B. That means this is the area which actually represents A minus B. Right? Similarly, if we talk about A minus C, A minus C we are going to represent in second diagram and A minus C is nothing but the elements of set A which are not there in set C. So this is the area which represents A minus C. Right? This area actually represents A minus C. And what will be the intersection? To find the intersection of these two, I am actually going to overlap these two figures and place where we find both green and purple dots will actually be the intersection of A minus B and A minus C. So if you see properly, this is the area which actually has both kinds of dots. This area has both green dots and the purple dots. So this is the intersection of A minus B and A minus C. And this is nothing but the area which I have shaded in light green in the left diagram, right? So this is the proof of the third law. And now let's see how to prove the fourth law. So here is the diagram where we have set A, set B and set C and let's see which area actually represents A minus B intersection C. So first let's find out which area represents B intersection C. The area which is common to both set B and set C will actually represent B intersection C, right? That means this will be the area which actually represents B intersection C, right? This is the overlapping area of both B and C. Then what is A minus B intersection C? A minus B intersection C will actually be the area of set A which is not there in B intersection C. A minus B intersection C is actually a set of all the elements of set A which are not there in B intersection C. That means this area which I am shading in light green actually represents A minus B intersection C. So this is the left hand side of this rule and what about the right hand side? To understand the right hand side properly, again I am going to draw two more Venn diagrams. So these are the two Venn diagrams. In first one I will represent A minus B. So the A minus B is actually represented by this portion, area of A which is not overlapping with B or the elements of A which are not there in set B. And if I talk about A minus C, that will be the area of A which is not overlapping with set C or the elements of set A which are not there in set C, right? So this is A minus C. And what will be their union? To 
find their union, let me overlap these two drawings. We'll get a picture something like this and which actually represents A minus B union A minus C. So the area where you find either the green dots or the purple dots or both actually represents A minus B union A minus C. That means this area along with this area actually represents A minus B union A minus C. Right? And this is nothing but the same area which I am representing with light green color in our earlier drawing. Right? So this is the proof of this law using Venn diagram. And in our next video, we are going to learn how to write the proof of these identities. So keep watching MathSmart and bye-bye until then.